seats All this but everything's lopsided Now you got me guessing where the next shot is coming from Okay, we're back at Linville. This is a bit different to the last time we were here. When we tried it in January, it was supposed to be a hot day, peaking at 30 degrees Celsius. We had an unexpected heat wave. It was actually over 40 degrees. And we gave up and we came back. So we've returned. It's, it's July, it's cold. We're, uh, we're pleasantly invigorated and we're about to ride to Blackbutt on the rail trail. But everything's lopsided Now you got me guessing where the next shot is coming from I can't be all these people got me coming from Everybody is stopping staring I don't even look like Elvis You think you've seen it all a million times before Truth is never hard to find You think you've seen it all Oh, moi moi Joo, morjes Suomi veli Milloin sinä Aa oh, vitu, Ta takaisin Australiassa Me Mennä tondon Joo, morjes I cannot help comparing the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail with the Otago Central Rail Trail in South Island, New Zealand. Both are about the same length. Well, they would be if the Brisbane version was complete. Well, this is the point where we turned around and bailed out in January. It was a good thing we did. We found out later it was 40 degrees in the shade and I felt sick for a few days afterwards with heat exhaustion, working with amateurs here. Anyway, we're one third distance. We're just into the forest. It's turned green, the birds are chirping. This is where the ride really improves. Yo! Unfortunately, the 2011 floods caused considerable damage to the trail in the Fernvale area. There is also the problem of continual fences in the Fernvale area. So at that end, it remains more of a virtual trail. However, the Blackbutt end is a good ride. If you have children riding with you, then the rail trail becomes a wonderful car-free place to ride. It is also very difficult to lose anyone on the trail, so it makes group rides a lot easier. The sound of the bellbirds in Benarkin State Forest certainly makes for pleasant riding. When you plan your trip to the trail, please try to schedule it in the cooler months. Even though we started riding in the cool early morning of a winter's day, the temperature still climbed once the fog cleared. The last survey of the Otago Trail counted 14,100 trail users during the New Zealand summer year. Many of those trail users come from overseas, so it is an international draw card. There were tyre marks visible along the trail, so others are definitely riding the Brisbane Trail. Just imagine if the numbers approach those of the Otago Trail. The steeper part of the ride is closer to Linville, so by the time we approached Blackbutt it was very easy riding. It took us two hours to get from Linville up to Blackbutt. 
when we left, it was in foggy conditions, it was cool, and along the way, the fog's cleared, the sky's cleared, it's a beautiful day. Well, we're looking forward to the trip downhill, it's going to be pretty fast. The gradient uphill is not challenging, but it's definitely faster downhill. We're going to have ourselves a decent feed here at the, uh, what are we at? At the woodcutters. We're at the woodcutters. We're going to have a decent feed at the woodcutters, and then we're going to hit the trail and blast down here. See you later. Now you got me guessing where the next shot is coming from I can't wait for all these words to tell me where I'm going Everybody's stopping staring I don't even look like Elvis You think you've seen it all a million times before Truth is never hard to find is the two hours drive it took to get from Brisbane to Lindell to start riding. But in my book, it's worth it. How would you know if you never come here and try riding it? So check it out. Truth is never